historical art. It's a great sandbox to play in. And I need a real fine boy. I mean, it's just unlimited stuff. You'll, you'll never run out of ideas. This is a, a couple of red tails. And uh, this is the first African-American fighter group here. My name is Dan Nance. I paint history for a living. I bring history to life. They really rate a reputation for, uh, uh, for getting it done. I started painting history in high school. I went to South Mech High, uh, class of 92. At first I wanted to be a Disney animator. I wanted to work in that field. I wanted to be Spielberg and do uh, uh, movies. Once I started painting history and I saw that I could see this scene, it was, it was addictive to me and I just wanted to paint the next scene and research more. This is how I support my family, uh, you know, Buy art from living artists. The dead ones don't need it. The first 20 years I painted the Civil War exclusively. I just really wanted to keep seeing these scenes that I was inspired by with movies like Glory when I was in high school. In the way they shot it, it's still one of the best Civil War movies filmed of all time. And so that is just kind of a bar mark the way that Saving Private Ryan has now created a bar for just the you know unrelenting honesty and truth being shown in that format, which I'm very inspired by. But, um, you know, glory to the final thing, to that assault when he gets shot and Denzel Washington grabs the flag and holds it up and it just shows that endurance in that going and what you're willing to sacrifice for to push it forward. And that stuff inspires me and I try to, I try to inspire today by painting those types of scenes. When you got a big boy like this, you kinda, you can get lost in it. It's a lot of little details. Those layers, the dark first, and then a uh, highlight over that, and then you build your lights out on top of that, so your, your whites and your lighter paint is kind of the last decoration on the cake. Mr. Cameron Harris has, uh, we've been together for years creating history, painting scenes, he loves history. I liked his artwork, and uh, we started off with the Civil War. So I had Dan do a couple of pictures, uh, and uh, it just kind of evolved into a whole lot more. So we are in the Waterloo Room. This is one of over five rooms that we've designed in this collection. He had always had this love of collections, collection knives, collection of books, collection of miniatures, military miniatures, the most top of the line beautiful creations from all over the world. I had all these in different places and boxes and stuff. And I was out of town and all of a sudden, I came back and, you know, some of this stuff had just materialized out of nowhere. And this is a private collection that has finally been opened up to its fullest potential, and I'm taking it to the next level. I've gone into the digital realm. I crossed over. I finally bought me an iPad Pro. That's how it's led to these, these creations, these vignettes I'm doing with these military miniatures. So that, paired with that, paired with this, Paired with what's up here, and you, you know, it's limitless, limitless. Your imagination just goes wild. So in laying these out, you get to construct these whole worlds, and then I bring it into the iPad there, and that's my DreamWorks studio right there. It's got everything you need, and it's only supposed to be this bite-sized history, this little image that's no more than 10, 30 seconds long. History's neat, it's a great setting, and you can learn from it. I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's a challenge. It's always been a challenge to teach young people about it in school. Uh, I'm a storyteller. I like to, to tell those tales and uh, watch the eyes light up. And, and I think a visual is, is just tremendous. And so if I'm able to do that, you know, picture's worth a thousand words and I, I talk a lot, but my paintings are better. Mm -hmm.